True Story Corner. Today we're visiting Penelope again and Penelope the dinosaur and we'll, we will be rocking with our classmates. We will rock our classmates by the New York Times best-selling author Ryan T. Higgins. Penelope was the only T-Rex in her school. Sometimes that made her stand out a little. And sometimes, Penelope's classmates didn't see her at all. They just saw a dinosaur. Want to play cops and dinosaurs? You can be the dinosaur. Well, I was hoping to play dentist. Great, we'll be the dentists, you'll be the dinosaur. Have you been flossing? William Omoto's backpack is stuck in your teeth. Dinosaur or not, Penelope loved to play. She loved to read, good night tasty moose all wrapped in bologna. Good night, Tasty Goose, with a side dish of pony. Mmm, pony. And she loved to draw. Wait, I won't eat you. I don't even have mustard. But the one thing Penelope loved to do more than anything else was to make music. She loved to sing. She loved to play guitar. Penelope loved to rock and roll. So when Miss New Mrs. Noodleman told the class about the school talent show, Penelope was excited. She was also nervous. She wanted to rock her classmates, but could she do it? Also, the sign-up sheet was right next to Walter the Ferocious Goldfish. Penelope took a deep breath. She had to do it. She tiptoed past Walter, then she quickly wrote her name in her bravest purple marker. After school, Penelope shared the big news with her parents. And I'm going to wear a pink tutu and big boots and spike my scales and look angry. But I'm actually be really happy. I know it's going to be so great. She hummed her favorite songs while brushing her teeth. She danced all the way to the bus. She even told her classmates, best band ever. My dad used to go to all their concerts until he accidentally ate the drummer. At last, it was time for the rehearsal. Can dinosaurs even play guitar? On stage, Penelope froze. She cannot sing. She cannot play guitar. She worried that dinosaurs could not rock and roll. Penelope was very quiet on the car ride home. She hardly ate anything for supper. Are you sure you don't want more penny pie? You only have 52 burgers. The next day at recess, Penelope sat alone on the bench. She cannot play hop hopscotch. I'm a T-Rex, not a hopscotcher. She would not play duck, duck, goose. I'm not a duck or another duck or goose, I am a dinosaur. At the end of the day, Penelope crossed her name off the sign-up sheet with her saddest blue marker. When Penelope got home, she went straight to her room. Daddy Rex came in to talk to her. Is everything okay, he asked. I can't be in the talent show, she cried. I'm just a dinosaur. Ah, uh, I see, said Daddy Rex. Come with me. Take a look at this family photo album. This is your Uncle Frank. He was a figure skater. Oh, and there's your mom finishing her first marathon. And here's me, the world hamburger eating champion. I eat 5,053 burgers with ketchup. You see, said Daddy Rex, being a T-Rex is only part of who you are. You, for instance, are kind and caring, creative and adventurous, and you can be anything you want to be. The next day at school, Penelope marched over back to the sign-up sign up sheet. She looked straight at Walter and almost lost her nerve. Can we play with you in your band, please, Penelope? And that gave her enough courage. On the night of the show, Penelope was really excited and also really nervous. She peeked out from the backstage to try and find her parents. It's so funny because, like, usually when you look out onto the stage, you can't find your parents because there's, like, all these people. But then Penelope's parents are just like, I'm so tall. When the curtains opened, William Omoto and his amazing animal sounds took the stage. Chirp, chirp. Oh, roar. Bar -roar. Tweet, tweet, honk, flop. Maybelle Hastings and her dancing pony went second. Then there was the Stegman Brothers synchronized swimming minds act, followed by Maria Cortez and her dazzling card tricks. Your cards was the Ten of Hearts? No, was it the Elephants of Spades? 
Finally, it was Penelope's turn. The lights on the stage were bright, but not as bright as Penelope. We are Penelope and the Mustard Seeds. Penelope was a T-Rex. She, she was also kind and caring and creative and adventurous. Most of all, Penelope was a rock star. Penelope and the Mustard Seeds came in second place just behind Maybelle Hastings and her dancing pony. That was okay with Penelope. She loved ponies. Mmm, ponies. The end. That was funny. What I thought was the most funny was when she's like, I can't find my parents. Because like, when you're on stage, you're like, I can't find my parents. But for Malibu's parents, since they're like big T-Rex, you can like see them right there. <laughs> and now it's time for a riddle. You can see me in the water, but I never get wet. What am I? A reflection. Get it? So bye. See you next time at your story corner. Story.